Hey guys, HeinzKYT here, and in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating my humanbenchmark.com cheeser slash bypass. I was highly inspired to make this by Code Bullet because he's been making like two or three videos on it, and I wanted to do the entire thing, and I kind of got carried away and ended up making an entire UI for it, and then I'm now I'm making a video for it. So, how we're going to get started is go to nodejs.org. And you want to make sure that you have Node.js installed. If you already have Node.js installed, you don't have to do anything from here. But if you do not have Node.js installed, make sure that you click on the LTS version. Go to your download in the top right. Execute the download. Go to your search bar and then type in Node.js. Enter. And then make sure that you have the, uh, or the console or whatever that says welcome to Node.js. The version doesn't matter too much. I downloaded not JS a while ago, so I have 16.17.1. It doesn't matter too much. But from here, what we're going to do is make sure that we have a code editor that we're going to be using. I personally use Visual Studio Code, but if you have another code editor that you already use, then you can just use that one. But for here, we're going to go to code.visualstudio.com and then download for whatever you use. So I already have, or I use Windows, and I already have it for Windows, so I'm good at that. Execute to the download in the top right, and then go through the setup, and then once you have the setup done, what we're going to do is minimize all that. And we're on the desktop, it doesn't really matter where. We can move it later. We're going to right click, and then go to new, and then new folder. And I'm just going to call this human ben oh, benchmark cheeser. And then this is the folder that we are going to be using to contain all the code. So at, in the bottom left or whatever or wherever your search bar is, just click on there and then go to Visual Studio Code. And then we're going to click on this explore right here or control shift E and then open folder and then find the location of your um, human benchmark folder so it should be on desktop so if you just scroll down to h human benchmark cheeser right there so select folder and now we have this completely empty folder so what we're going to do from here is as you can see in the top left there is a terminal and we're going to click on new terminal. If you do not see new terminal, then what you can do is just click on control plus shift plus backtick, I guess, and new terminal. And then from the terminal, I'm going to have this command in the description of the video and in the pinned comment if YouTube will let me. But we're just going to paste this into the terminal that we just created. This is found on github.com slash TonyScoyT slash human benchmark cheese. But what we can do from here is just click enter once we have this pasted in the terminal. And then it's going to clone my human benchmark cheese into our thing. And as you can see, we have the human benchmark cheese, and this is all the files that we will need. We don't have to make any modifications to any of this, so we can pretty much just close Visual Studio Code right here. Go to the Human Benchmark Cheese, and it's going to bring up this folder. So just drag this out of the other folder, and then you can just delete this because it doesn't really matter anymore. Oh, actually, it's because I have Visual Studio Code open. Go close Visual Studio Code first, and then try to delete it. There we go. Okay. So now we have this cloned repository of human benchmark cheese. So what we can do is just open it, left click it twice, and then you're going to see all of this. What we're going to do is at the very bottom, run.sh. It's going to double tap this. And then it's going to bring this up. So if you have a humanbenchmark.com login, what you're going to want to do is type in the username to your humanbenchmark.com and then password. 
and then we're just going to click on login. Give it a moment to load. It is manually getting all the information in a very inefficient way because I am very lazy. So as you can see, after a little bit, we have the login success page. And what we can do from here is if you want, you can close this because Puppeteer makes it kind of weird. I don't want to optimize it. So I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to open a Chrome tab. You could use whatever browser you want. We're going to go to HTTPS slash localhost right here. And then you can just redo the login. So I'm going to do that really quick. If you don't really care about how the site looks, then just continue on with Puppeteer. You do not have to close that page at all. But as you can see, this is a lot faster just using it in Chrome. So as you can see, we have all these test scores. So my aim test is in the 99.92 percentile because I have a very good gaming chair. But let's say that you are in the 10 percentile, like you're not that good at all. What we can do is just click on this cheese icon. And then it's going to bring up this and whoa, um, I am very good at this. Uh, 12 milliseconds, save score. And ooh. That is all the information and all of it matches. So let's say that I wanted to test my reaction time. Usually it's around 200 milliseconds, but I am pretty good. I got a really good gaming chair. So I just click on that cheese icon right next to reaction time. And as you can see, I'm going to get a 8 millisecond between 20 millisecond score for this. <laughs> it is really fun. There is one of these that is glitchy. I think that is the sequence memory test. If you close it while it's still running, it's going to break the code. I'm too lazy to figure it out. But as you can see for reaction time, 12 milliseconds and everything is fully automated. I can go through all of this, but it doesn't really matter too much. If you end up having it where it just like constantly loads at the top, as long as you see the login page, you could just click on this X icon right here and then it will just continue logging in. Forty one score. I am pretty good at this. And how about for our I will demonstrate the um, verbal memory test. Yes, this one is so cool. Watch this. I am very good at this game. Look at that. I'm not even trying anymore. 508 words. If you want to change the amount of words that it gets correct, what you can do is just open the folder in Visual Studio Code, go to index.js and search for 500 and then change that to any number that you want and then control S and then it will save and then you just have to re-execute the code so that the code is updated and then it'll be however words you want so if you guys do end up enjoying this ui then make sure to like subscribe if, if you found this useful if you have any questions or concerns you can contact me on my discord tony scout yt but other than that i will see you guys in the next episode i do have self-up videos planned and peace